So in today's video here at Light of Path Ranch, make fried steak fingers and some homemade white gravy for a dipping sauce. Let's go. All right, so the first thing you want to do with these steak fingers, you want to get the right cut of meat, which in my case is anything that's on quick, reduced to quick sale. I buy it when it's on quick sale, put it in the freezer because that's the only way we eat steak around here. So I got some round eye, round, bottom round. I got some top sirloin, tenderized, and I got some rib eyes. So you want to cut them into an inch and a half about an inch, inch and a half strips. I'm going with an inch here. Let's see, let's cut them this way. I'm not really going to trim the fat off of these either. I'm going to leave them as is. Actually, good looking steak here to say it was on quick sale. You gotta love a deal when you get one. I want to do is get a better knife than I got here. These here would be good for the kiddos because they're thin and tender. Two cups of all-purpose flour. And then we're gonna take three large eggs and put them in this bowl. All right, so we got three large eggs. We're using all-purpose flour as a binder. Then we're gonna need some baking powder and some cornstarch. So to start off with, we're gonna use two tablespoons of cornstarch. Add that to a flour. You'll need another tablespoon of this later. Well, actually right now, go ahead and put the, the other tablespoon in your egg of the cornstarch. Now you take your baking powder, you put one tablespoon of baking powder in your flour. Stir that all up good, incorporate it together. And go from there. Almost forgot, to your flour, you wanna add your favorite seasoning. 
I'm trying out this smoky bacon gunpowder season from Sure Shot Sizz, but whatever your favorite is. If not, you can make your own out of some salt and pepper and garlic powder. It's not, not rocket science. Whatever you like to use for seasoning. One and a half tablespoons. Round about. Then you stir that all up together. Whisk it in there you want to go. What you want to do, throw your meat in that flour first. And put in that egg. We use our tongs here. The egg. And you go in that flour. And we're going to double dip. Double dip these to get a good crust on them. Put them on this drying rack here. We're actually gonna let them dry for a minute. Let that let that bind to the meat. And while we battering these things up, you wanna go ahead and get you some cooking oil in your favorite pan for frying, because you wanna. Fry these in some grease, just barely some, enough to cover them. Go ahead and get it start warming up to 350 degrees. All right, guys, now that you got your strips of steak dope, dipped in that egg and flour batter recipe, I'm going to start putting them in, got them dried, kind of glued and set there. I'm going to ease them into the grease here. Remember, safety first. Don't splash. Get these things nice and golden brown. More of a shallow fry than a deep fry. Make sure you rotate them. Let's do these three and see how they turn out. Remember guys, this don't have to cost you a lot of money. Get get this meat when it's on sale and it's reduced to quick sale. This is a good way to, to take a not so good cut of steak and make something good out of it. Let me get those really tenderized ones for the little kiddos. The cheap, cheaper cuts for them. They like my boys anyway. They don't know what a good piece of meat is. That corn starts in that egg and then that flour. If, if you don't believe it'll glue it to the meat, stick your fingers in it and 
play with a little bit and see what happens. Don't be afraid to get in there and cook, fellas. Remember, if you ain't making a mess, you probably ain't doing nothing. You can always clean it up when you're done. Do that before you call your wife or supper. It'll go over there. Look at that out there. It looks good to me. When you get done, you want to save this grease in here because you're going to need some of that for your, your gravy. You're going to make homemade gravy to go with it. Let me drop some more in there. What we're doing here is making a roux for white gravy dipping sauce to go with the, with the steak fingers there. Took about a half a cup of the grease that I fried them in and just kept adding, keep adding a little flour. So I get a roux about like one and stir it on low to, to medium low heat. You don't want to burn it. Let that cook and thicken up, keep from sticking to the bottom part of the pot. You want it to, you want to move it to when you do that, you kind of feel a sizzle, hear a sizzle down the bottom. We're not quite there yet. And then we'll add some buttermilk. And the bu buttermilk that we use, we get powder. My wife makes it up for me. Keeps a lot longer because buttermilk's expensive. And if you don't use a lot of it, you don't need it sitting in the fridge going bad. A lot of good drippings in this grease, much as I, I fried a big batch. There are five other seatings, so, and we like to eat. I'm going to add a touch more flour. Very scientific here. A lot of pads of ranch. I'm actually cooking this on Good Friday. Easter's coming. My Lord and Savior did a good thing today by hanging on that cross and dying for my sins and your sins. I wanted to eat a good meal on this Good Friday. Thankful for what he's done for me and does for me each and every day. Especially his grace. Fairly decent roux there. I'm gonna add some buttermilk. You can always thin this with water if it gets too thick. Well, I think that about does it for my white gravy dipping sauce. You can get it as watery as you want, thin it with water, but that's about the consistency I want when I'm going to be dipping in it. Kind of thick gravy. And we need to plate it up and see how it is. All right, guys, there we have it. There's our fried steak fingers with white gravy dipping sauce. A little toast on the side, all I need is some sweet tea now. And I've been eating these things as I went. Boy, I'm telling you, they're good. Can't go wrong with that meal. Mm. God's good to me.
Thank you guys for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe and follow us on social media. As always, God gets the glory for the good in our life. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. Feel free to reach out to us in the email in the description below with any questions or prayer requests. Thank you and God bless. Mm -hmm.